Hi, everyone. Thank you very much for joining. I am Yusuf Khan. I'm CIO of Automation Anywhere. Uh, and today I have the honor, I would say privilege, I would say an exciting moment in my career to finally have a conversation with the great Bass Guy. Yeah, it's, it's always fun talking to you and fellow CIOs, so it's my pleasure. Thank you. If you think about um, just the connectedness, uh -huh. both of the CIO community and then also your people. So one of the key things is, you know, completely changes. Of course, now we're all remote. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, being able to conduct uh, conversations, not just like this, but just kind of regular work conversations and collaboration. I know I thrive on being able to have interpersonal collaboration uh, and the value of being able to be in a room. And honestly, the virtual piece doesn't really completely cut it for me. Uh, and so I'm just trying to think about this kind of the, you know, the glue that kind of holds these executive relationships together and the relationships between leadership teams, yours and mine, and also their, you know, teams as well across the board. Got any thoughts there about how we kind of keep this together and do it a little much more better remotely? Yeah, people are not talking about this glue, which is what um, bothers me. Is um, surprisingly, well, it's not surprising. We always work from home, also work from home, and now we're working almost exclusively from home. So in a way, I'm not surprised. Uh, I'm surprised that it works at scale, like forty thousand people, hundred thousand people in companies are working remotely, and it's gone fabulously well. So thank God, we made the investment in spite of the sometimes the CFOs or the CEOs not really understanding we made the right investments on disaster recovery and networking and so on so thank god most of the it folks are heroes in this in this environment and i i, I had a theory that you can fix all problems over a beer i mean um, so that theory is being challenged right now and virtual beer doesn't really cut it for me as well the other thing is if you look back uh you know the age of reformation and so on even in uh, in uk um, a lot of innovation happened in coffee houses you know, you bump, in, bump into normal people uh, in uh, coffee houses and it's, you know, it took some of the class differences away and, and you bounced ideas of each other. So I, I, I worry about us going from here to completely, we're all going to be remote. There's no need for any offices, no need to plan. So um, my thought is your, your work, I mean, we will work remotely. I, I can't see all of us going uh, five days a, uh, a week to work, right? I don't see that. And we should also be thankful that we are fortunate that some of us can do that. Not everybody is able to do that. So let's be humble about that. But, but having said that, we won't go five days to work. Then how do you build the glue? So maybe we go to the offices to have a good time. You know, you, your, your offsite meetings is, is your office. Uh, and you go there and have a few beers at the office or read together, drink together, have coffee together, talk about each other's family rather than running an operations review on site, yeah. right? Because we've proven that we can do operations review very well from, from Zoom meetings. Mm -hmm. uh, and so uh, I, I'm just thinking the future would be, you know, would, it, would you change the workplace for a place to build a glue? Uh, 